Welcome back to FNAF World, the game that almost single-handedly destroyed the FNAF franchise. But don't let that discourage you, there is still a lot of adventure to be had here. But it's not all fun and games. There is an important task that you must accomplish. I'll tell you more about that later. For now, do some exploring! Fight monsters, collect items, and find new allies! Come find me when you are ready to hear more. There, are you happy? Enjoying the freak show? Oogie boogie boogie! I'm so creepy and 8 bit! So, you know how all of this works, right? Look at the tree behind me. That tree is a glitch portal. It will take you to a deeper level under the world. It's like a shortcut. Go through it, then find your way to the correct exit inside. Always be looking for more glitched objects. You won't be able to explore the whole map without them. Oogie Boogie Boogie! It's Scary 8-Bit Fredbear again! When someone visits my house, and I want them to go away, I just answer the door like this. I'm like, BOO! And they're like, WHOA! And I'm like, YEAH! Great! Be sure to press that button behind you to clear the path for later. That way you won't have to take the long way again. Remember how I told you that there is an important task for you to accomplish? The problem is with Adam Dude. He still thinks that he's super tough as the final boss. It's time for a reality check. Take this chump stick. You need to find Anim Dude and hit him in the head with it. Acquire the chump stick. One time, I answered the door to some trick or treaters like this. They were like, trick or treat, and I was like, I'll eat your soul. And they ran away screaming and crying. Ha! <laughs> Man, good times. Hey, do you want to build a snowman? Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. I already made one, and I gave him two heavy armor Gatling guns. But yeah, behind him you'll find another glitch tunnel. Inside that tunnel, you'll find a tunnel that runs even deeper. Just be sure to never go more than three glitches down. I'm not sure if you would find your way back up. Be sure to always search for new chips and bites. They will be a huge help against monsters like the one up ahead. So one time, I mailed myself in a box to my grandmother looking like this. I jumped out and I was like, BOO! Yeah. RIP. You've reached Lily Gear Lake. From here I don't know where your adventure will take you. Actually, that's not true. It will take you to a graveyard, then to a carnival, then to some zany minigames. Be careful in the waters of Lily Gear Lake. I hear there is a sea monster that attacks at random. Be ready to fight. Good luck. Fun fact, did you know that if you take out all of a person's blood vessels and line them up end to end in a straight line, that person would die? It's true, but what a mess am I right? Find the clock and set it back an hour. Daylight savings tonight. I can hear Anim Dude laughing from here. You need to hurry, it's like nails on a chalkboard. You need to beat that fool upside the head with a chub stick. Everything depends on it. I mean, he's not even the final boss anymore. He's been replaced with a rainbow. How humiliating. But don't check in the tree in the back corner. That's everyone's business tree. But yeah, how's it working on mobile so far? Pretty good port, I think. Sound effects are a little screwy though. Looks like trouble up ahead, but you should be used to that by now. They say that there is a secret fun house hidden here in the circus. It must be inside one of these tents. I have to warn you, 
I've seen two giant animatronics roaming the fairgrounds. A giant bear and a giant pig. They look like abominations to me. Also, the funhouse is full of false walls and secret doors. Don't get lost. Let the chump stick guide you. I once knew this guy who would put ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise all on the same plate together. Then, he would stir them all up into an orange goo. People like that are real monsters. You found the exit! That's amazing! The giant pig lies on the other side of this subtunnel. He guards a key that opens the locks to the final guardians. Each guardian protects a button. Once you have found and pressed the buttons, the gates protecting the game's security system will be lowered. Only then will you have the chance to put an end to this madness. Navigate your way through the subtunnel, but remember, don't go more than three glitches down. Good luck. Attacking the game security system will not accomplish anything. I take that back. It does accomplish something. You get to fight a really cool metal owl. This is it. This is the path to the game security system. If you found all of the buttons, then your path should be clear. The security system has powerful defenses. Make sure you have someone with the shield ability. You won't survive without it. I will tell you a secret. There are powerful chips that can only be attained by breaking the game. The red chests. There are objects that you can press against, and it will break your collision detection. One is a yellow bird on a tree stump. Another is a gravestone. Wait, you probably already knew about all of that, didn't you? But did you know that I could touch my nose with my tongue? Both of them! Yeah, you didn't know that. Congratulations! You beat an imaginary monster in an imaginary game without taking any risks and without finding anything interesting. On the easiest possible difficulty. Wait, what? You say you have something to deliver to me? <laughs> A gift for the gods? I laugh at you. But if you insist on groveling and worshipping me, then come back when you have played a more challenging mode. Now get lost! That's some real dedication! Great job! Most people are content playing through a game on normal mode, but not you! There is always an overachiever in the bunch. I guess that's you. Ah yes, your gift. You may come lay it at my feet. Ouch! What did you just hit me with? A chopstick? Is this a joke? That makes me angrier than when people misuse an apostrophe! You only use an apostrophe in ITS when you mean IT IS! Okay, alright, I get it. At least tell me that you beat me legit and didn't use one of those OP Halloween characters. Uh, I mean, I'm melting! I'm melting! Oh, what a world! <laughs> but seriously, thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed the port. I mean, it burns! It burns! I see a light at the end of the tunnel! I wonder if the Fazburger down the street is hiring.
You've been through a lot. I am ready to reveal myself. You see, I've been there all along. It was me. I caused the bite of 87. <coughs> That's right, mind blown! It all makes sense when you think about it. All hail Bounce Pot! <laughs>